Hello friends, welcome to my channel uh, Data Tech. In this channel, I generally create uh, technology videos on uh, big data, machine learning, and deep learning. Okay, so I started a series called uh, Apache uh, uh, Kafka for beginners. Okay, in this series, we started with the uh, uh, Kafka introduction. Okay, and uh, how the Kafka architecture works, and we saw command line uh, producer and consumer. And the last video, we saw command line. Uh, sorry, the Kafka uh, Python producer. Okay. So uh, we actually uh, uh, try to publish the message using the Kafka uh, Python API and to the Kafka broker and we were able to consume using the uh, command line consumer. So in this example, I'm going to do the, uh, the other example uh, which I told, which is a Kafka consumer, Python consumer. Okay, so we are going to publish a message using a command line uh, producer. Okay, and read that message in the, uh, the using the Python API. Okay, so to receive the message and uh, just display it. So generally you can use it for some processing. So in this uh, uh, video, I uh, uh, just for simplicity sake, I just uh, receive the message and display it in the Python console. Okay, so uh, let us uh, jump into the uh, the top uh, the program as well as the uh, topic. Okay, so before that, uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, uh, to get more technology videos and also click on this bell button to uh, uh, click on the bell button to get notification whenever I add new videos so that you don't miss my videos. So before that, let me minimize my uh, recording window. Okay, now go to this. So what I'm going to do? So so we 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 consider this. Uh, there's a Kafka uh, cluster. So Kafka cluster will have one or multiple uh, Kafka broker or servers. Okay, so so I'm using a, a topic called message MSG topic four in my program. Okay. Uh, I'm going to actually uh, um, uh, use the topic uh, to send a message and uh, uh, from using the command line uh, uh, consumer, sorry, command line producer and read that message in the uh, Kafka uh, uh, Python consumer, sorry, um, I'm very sorry. So I'm going to use the command line producer and the Python consumer, okay. So here actually just uh, uh, given you Python producer, but uh, I'll just take that uh, this as a command line producer and a Python consumer. Okay, so uh, to use the Python API for uh, Kafka, so you need to actually install the the package. Okay, the Python package. So you can run this command, which is a sudo uh, pipp. Okay, uh, install the Kafka if and Python. This will in, 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 uh, install the Python package. So using that, you can connect to the Kafka. Okay, now let us discuss about the program. Okay, so before that, let me create one topic. Okay, so I'll stop this command line producer. So let me create uh, this. So I was using for. So I was created. Uh, okay, I'll get as MSG topic five. Okay, the topic is created. I will use this topic to produce a message. Okay, MSG five. Okay. Uh, five. Yes, correct. So five. Message topic uh, five is the topic we are going to use it for producing sample message. Is uh, JSON message, and we are going to consume it in the uh, the uh, Python Kafka consumer. Okay. So the package unit import, which is a Kafka package. In, in inside the Kafka package, you have a, a Kafka consumer. Okay. Uh, apart from that, I am using a JSON package. So I declared a consumer, uh, the consumer group, the topic, which is a five, you must see topic five, and the, the Kafka broker bootstrap server, which is Kafka broker and the port number, uh, the default port number 9092. Um, okay, so I just start this application. Um, okay, this is the Python uh, entry point. I put it in the try catch block this uh, Kafka consume consumption as well as the I trading the message. Okay, so if some issue comes, it will just say fail with uh, this message. Okay, so when you instance instantiate uh, instantiate uh, uh, Kafka consumer, you need to pass the topic name, bootstrap server, which is a Kafka broker, uh, and we are going to uh, read the only the latest message. So I set this property and uh, auto commit is true. And we are going to use this Kafka consumer, which is declared here, test a consumer group. And actually, I'm using a value deserializer. So in the last video, we used a value serializer to 
convert your uh, 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 the message uh, dictionary object into JSON and uh, uh, do the uh, UDF encoding and send it to the Kafka broker. So we need to do the reverse operation here to read the uh, message. So we are actually de um, decoding with the UDF, UDF 8 and uh, we do the uh, decentralizer using the JSON loads uh, method from the JSON, uh, JSON package. Okay, so and then in the consumer object, you, you, once you run this, it will just start uh, uh, listening for the new messages. Uh, whenever the new message comes, uh, so that will get displayed here. Okay, the simple program. Okay, so let me run this program. Okay, so consumer application has started. Okay, let's uh, publish some message, sample message. Okay, I'm going to publish this. transaction ID 2 so it is printed here you transaction ID and the card type is uh, MasterCard and the transaction amount so this is how actually you can actually uh, build a system like uh, um, this this uh, producer can be uh, any application which send the message and uh, Kafka consumer uh, is the application which consume that message and uh, do some kind of uh, processing or it can actually push it to the different topic also so do some kind of calculation, simple calculation and can, it can result can be pushed to another topic also so you can do whatever operation you want to do okay uh, just uh, that's it i want to convey this message so let me publish one more message which is uh, this on transaction id 5 okay you see here so as soon as you publish the message <coughs> the message is consumed in the kafka consumer so this is a simple uh, python consumer program you can actually try this program if you have any doubt or uh, clarification please uh, post it on my uh, comment section of my video uh, people who already subscribed my channel uh, thank you so much for uh, your support and uh, uh, help and uh, i would suggest uh, uh, everyone to subscribe my channel to get uh, 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 technology videos whenever i add it okay thank you so much uh, friends uh, so one more thing I want to before closing it I just want to uh, say uh, please uh, follow my uh, uh, technical content on my uh, blog as well so my blog name is uh, data science wiki .com, okay uh, I just uh, uh, put uh, uh, content on uh, data science okay and uh, uh, so most of the content now it is uh, big data and uh, uh, so in big data we have uh, python as well Python and big data um, and data science so only few one or two topics were there okay so I will be keep on updating uh, my content on all the sections okay please follow my uh, section uh, my technical content uh, please always uh, 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 post your queries uh, so that uh, uh, it, it will encourage me to do a lot of uh, videos and as the uh, post a lot of uh, uh, blog post with the technical content okay thank you so much friends see you in the uh, next uh, uh, video so basically i from uh, till this uh, 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 till this uh, topic i will actually until this topic i will stop it here the kafka uh, beginner series so we'll see the advanced topics uh, after some time i'm going to start a new series on uh, uh, the uh, uh, sorry the apache uh, hadoop okay so i'm going to uh, do a lot of fans on on Apache Hadoop on different components uh, because I, I get a lot of requests from the people uh, uh, like that um, they want to uh, learn from uh, Apache Hadoop from scratch so I'm going to uh, make a quick video series to uh, give a quick introduction of all the uh, Apache Hadoop components and uh, uh, the hands-on session on all the components okay see you in the next video friends thank you so much